So you can see what a difference it makes when you put it in context. We have all been guilty of quoting only part of the scripture. Everyone who has a Bible has the truth, but the Bible won't set them free unless it abides inside of them. Do you hear me? Some of us have Bibles with dust, never opened for years, but will that set you free? No, even though you have the word, even though you have the book, but the book cannot set you free. You have to abide in the word that is contained in the book. Then you will be called his disciples. And being his disciples, you will know the truth. And knowing the truth, the truth will set you free. You just don't walk up to somebody and say, my brother, my sister, oh, you want to know God? For you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That's not true. You have to abide in the word. Then you will be his disciples. And then you will know the truth and then the truth will set you free. So it isn't just the truth that sets people free. It is the knowledge of the truth that sets people free. Not just the truth is the knowledge. You have to know it. You may have the truth, but will not know it. Many people have Bibles, but don't read it. Many people have prayer books, but never say a prayer. You have to know the truth. Know the word. So it isn't just the truth that sets people free. It is the knowledge of that truth that sets people free. So when you... <coughs> excuse me. When you teach or preach the word of God, when you teach or preach the word of God, you transmit knowledge. Do you hear me? When you teach or preach the word of God, you are transmitting knowledge and understanding of that word to other people. So as you watch this telecast, and you are hearing what I'm saying. My duty is to transmit knowledge to you so that you will abide in this word, so that you will know the truth, so that he will call you his disciples and then know the truth, and then the truth will set you free. So abiding in the word, teaching and preaching the word of God, transmission of knowledge and understanding of the word to other people, that knowledge, that understanding sets people free to act on God's word. I want you to know, my friends, that millions of people are held in bondage Millions of people are held in bondage today because they don't know the truth. They have some areas of truth and they have certain points along the way that are truths, but in between are gaps that are filled with misunderstanding. They are defeated in life because they believe wrong they believe wrong. Therefore, their action or reaction to things that happen to them is wrong. Remember what Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 2, 25 and 26. Instructing those that oppose themselves, those that oppose themselves, that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. In other words, those who have been taken in by deception and error must be willing to change their way of thinking and recover themselves for no one else can do it for them. But we can teach them and in meekness instruct them in the light of God's word. Then God's spirit will bear witness with their spirit that it is truth. 
Our part is to instruct in meekness. Their part is to recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Do you think you are bound today? Do you think you are not reaching your potential because you feel you are held hostage by that enemy, Satan? You can Satan proof yourself today. You can Satan proof your family today. Give me a call. 718-230-0777 or 718-230-3473. God is with you. And if God is with you, no one can be against you. But you have to use the word. That's your weapon. Speak healing, not sickness. Speak riches, not poverty. Speak strength, not weakness. Speak peace, not war. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Get up from your mat. And know that Jesus is standing by. He will be with you, even as you make the first step. God bless you. And I hope this word has been a blessing to you. And until next time, shalom, shalom, shalom. Somebody. Yeah.